If you had to write a piece of content for your website, would you rather focus on competitive keywords or keywords that are easy to rank and have little to no competition. Hey, what up, Decisive Marketers. Today, I'm going to be talking about Beyond Me and what this tool does. It helps you to identify keywords that you can easily rank in the top 10 of the Google search results. And before I dive into Beyond Me, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content. So here we go. So here we are in Beyond Me. So what this tool does, it's kind of similar to Low Fruits, and there are also other some uh, some other competitors out there that does something uh, you know similar to Beyond Me. So what this tool does, okay. So firstly, what you do is that you connect your website, okay, to Google Search Console, right? So you click on this, okay, and then you can link your google search console which i have already done that so i'm I'm not going to do that again okay and then you can then connect your website okay so these are all the website properties in my google search console right so uh there's a lot of properties in here okay and what happens is once you connect your website it's going to pull out all the keywords that you have uh you know have impressions for in your google search console okay so for example i'm going to pull out this uh, website right here watchwider.com.sg so this is a website that i have okay and you can see um, what happens is that you can uh you know see all the you know search queries that i have okay so these are all the the data the keywords from google search console itself as long as i have one single impression it's going to pull that data into beyond me so once you click on analyze queries okay so you can then uh select the language and then the uh country right so you can so I'm going to pick uh, Singapore, okay, and then click on analyze keywords. And what it's going to do is that it's going to send all these keywords into the keyword lab, which I've already done that as well. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, this one right here, so I can just click on this, explore the keyword. Okay, and it's going to look into all uh, it's going to actually suggest me uh, keywords uh, that I could be looking into, right? So, uh, so over here you can see, you know, a lot of, uh, uh, you know, uh, competition. So actually, what this does right here is that it tells you this particular keyword itself. Okay, uh, once you analyze, you show some uh, data, which I'm going to explain to you later. Uh, so next you have the search volume and then you have the uh, occur uh, occurrence i don't really uh, know what this is yet okay the next one is your search advertiser competition right so if you see that this is very high right here it does not mean that it's difficult when it comes to seo okay this is the sem part right so this is where the search uh google search ads are whether there are a lot of competition bidding uh on this keyword itself and what is the cost per click right the average cost per click so you can then grab this different uh keyword so Maybe you could look into say certain keywords that you want to try and uh analyze for okay so of course you want to be looking at the um you know some of the keywords that uh i would say um suitable for your business right so you don't want to just kind of target any keywords okay so watch rotating box okay uh, orient crown if you want to of course you can kind of just grab all the keywords and analyze it if you want to uh, i mean provided that you have sufficient uh traffic 
I mean you have sufficient credit my bad then just click on analyze now I've already analyzed certain uh, keywords uh, as you can see right here uh, it shows the feature okay there is a map snippet and then there is the uh, this is called the uh, top three pages average word count so if you want to be writing a piece of content targeting this keyword you have to probably write uh, somewhere around 2043 words okay all right so where is the keywords that I have identified okay so there you go right I think these are the ones that I have identified right so the cool thing is that the founder told me that they have uh, pushed an update which is actually live right now uh, this update what it does it helps you to analyze uh, the keywords very very quickly right so you know it used to take a couple of minutes but now it's like you know just less than a minute now okay so it's very fast so uh, so this is actually not a very good example I am going to jump back into Kiba lab and show you a better option okay maybe let's look at this one right here okay so uh, let's see Okay, maybe not this one. Let's try this. Or maybe I'm I have to reanalyze uh those those keywords again. Let's see. I might have to reanalyze them because the Okay, so uh, I guess that's just, this is where it is. Um, I might have to remove my ad guard. Oops. Okay, there you go. Okay, I am not really sure why it's not showing up. But what happens is that you can click on this uh, sort of hamburger icon right here. If you click on this, it's going to show you where the weak spots are. Okay, where the weak spots are. So as you can see here, um, that there is a possibility for you to rank uh, much higher in the search results okay uh, you can see here there's a there's a weak spot here there is a weak spot here as well okay so that means that you have an opportunity to rank above at least in you know the top 10 if you have a DA of at least uh, you know 20 21 and above okay so that's kind of how it works okay so this this there are three weak spots in this particular keyword itself okay so if you like to you know sort of uh, analyze more you can kind of select them Let's see okay so let's say i want to analyze this this view okay uh, so the analysis is like a lot faster than before now okay so there you go right so the data is out now okay so as you can see here uh, scooter for seniors so we have already looked at that uh, so mattress protector right? So if I click on this okay you can see here that there is a weak spot okay there is a weak spot right here uh, this particular website bit buff and table you know it's a very weak uh, website at the moment so you could likely rank above uh, them okay so uh, and then you got ensure plus if you click on this okay you can see okay this is a weak spot this is a weak spot this is a weak spot okay so these are the ones that you know uh, you could likely rank above them right so if you can find uh keywords like that okay they are going to um you know uh they they are you know weak spots that are easy to sort of 
um, rank above okay so uh, so yeah let me just kind of take a look here let's see okay so another thing is that you could monitor your website using the uh, you know watcher feature okay and what it's going to do is is that it's going to uh, you know record certain changes in the search results okay and then when there's when the when there's some changes okay you could reanalyze and look at the opportunities again because there could be let's say maybe an algorithm update maybe some sites have dropped uh, that gives you some opportunities to sort of rank higher okay so pretty much uh, I would say that uh, so that this is your website watcher okay so I've, you know turn that on right and then uh, there are some other features in here as well which you can kind of take a look at your top pages okay uh, your top countries uh, you know your site maps these are all put in from uh, Google search console anyway okay and then uh, you can have an overview of your data in there and let me see okay so I think that's all over here okay and you could you could also look at like play store uh, you know Amazon which will be coming later uh, at the moment they don't they don't have those features yet Okay, and of course you can filter down, right? So this this was all the keywords. Uh, okay, and over here I forgot to mention, right? This is a very very powerful feature in the keyword lab. Um, so for example, uh, you could say uh, so this is the seed keyword. Uh, okay, then what's the max da? Okay, what's the max? Okay, so the keyword lab function, right? What you can do is there's there's actually two things that you can do. You could type in your keyword and generate a report, or you could, uh, you know, pull in keywords from your websites and analyze them. So there's there's two ways to go about it. Okay, and then uh, in the keyword lab again, you can then set up your report. Okay, if you click here, uh, it will tell you like what is the DA that you think you can outrank. So anything uh, that is below 20, you're likely going to rank above them. Okay, and then you can also customize certain weak spots domain. Like uh, say, uh, you know, maybe a new site maybe a PR site right maybe you you know uh, you can put that in as well okay so over here you can enable like social media website Pinterest website forums websites and like files if it's like a PDF file or something like that uh, you think that you know these are weak spots that you can rank above you can put them in so that uh, they will tell you like you know if you click something like this then it's going to tell you oh these are the weak spots okay that you can try and rank above okay so that's kind of how uh, beyond me works I think that this tool is very helpful okay very very helpful um, uh, you know if you are into you know writing uh, very specific content for SEO traffic itself I think beyond me is going to help you tremendously uh, doing so right because you can identify those weak spots you know what kind of keywords uh, are the one that you want to be working on uh, and then I think beyond me will be very useful for helping you save time uh, identifying this kind of keywords right in the past what I do is I would actually uh, go in and do a uh, 
actual search itself and then I look at the top 10 I see which domains that I think that I am likely to rank above right but with beyond me now you don't have to do that manually you save a lot of time okay so I guess that's all I have to share about beyond me if you enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up let me know what you think about beyond me in the comments below lastly if you know anyone who could benefit from beyond me be sure to share this video with them I'll see you in my next video bye bye